Hey everyone, welcome to Sir Inc.'s The Experience Podcast, where we talk about anything and everything kink. We only cater to adults 18 and above. So remember, this podcast is not safe for work, or as we like to say, NSF. Hello, kinky and kink curious folk out there. My name is Sir Inc. And today, I'm going to discuss with you half your age plus seven years for men. What does that mean? It's age difference in relationships. And why is that important? Why should men date women younger than them? And what are the issues with dating women younger than you? Now, on previous podcasts, you've heard me discuss this here and there and one of the latest ones i put out was pop pop and bbls right and uh for all those that don't know what bbls is brazilian butt lifts and um so that is not where i'm going with this however um the honorable elijah muhammad has said a man should date a woman half his age plus seven years and the reason that is, is not because an older man just seeks a younger woman, but we've all heard that women mature faster than men growing up. So the only way to balance that when you become older as a man and more mature as a man, and you want to have a family and be the leader of the family, especially in American society where women are working just as much as men, Maybe not the same jobs, but they're working hours. You know, women are no, are no longer sitting at home. It's cooking and cleaning and things of that nature, right? So what, what needs to happen is a man needs to seek a woman half his age plus seven years. This way, a man is at a maturity level higher than a woman. If a man dates a woman at the same as his age, uh, when you're coming through your 20s and your 30s, there may be a difference where the woman is a little bit more advanced than a man, especially emotionally. So a lot of times men do not come into the emotional maturity until they reach their 40s because life is repetitive and men need re- repetition to understand life. Now, I'm not saying getting married in your 20s is bad or getting married in your 30s is bad. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying life really comes together for men in many ways, financial, mentally, and emotionally, in their 40s. However, let's go back to this half your age plus seven years. It's, it's crucial because as an older man, you have something to offer a younger woman for its maturity. Your maturity is higher than hers, which means when she comes into a relationship, she doesn't see you as an equal. She sees you as not only as her man, but as someone that can mentor and nurture her and bring her to the next level. A lot of times what women are dealing with now is they're dating guys their age and they're dealing with immaturity factors. We're talking about cheating or hanging out with the boys too much, all this kind of stuff because it's maturity. See, where a man is at at 25, where a woman is at at 25 is completely different, even based on, you know, physical issues, you know, as far as a woman being able to have children, um, healthy, you know, health wise, so on and so forth. So, Women mentally are in a different space than men. Women have the ability to bring life into this world. So they look at sex differently. You know, a lot of women do. Some women don't. Some women don't give a shit. They think like men. So they say. And they out here just banging and hanging. But whatever. So superficial intent with this is sort of what we've grown to see when i was younger you were always you know here like oh older man younger woman um and i can't remember the famous model uh blonde hair woman married she was like in her 20s married some older rich really rich millionaire maybe billionaire guy and he died years later and she ended up getting all his money I cannot remember her name, but I'm sure one of you know. And matter of fact, I'll look it up. Um, but at any rate, so, and then you see like Hugh Hefner and all that. So the outlook in America has been, hey, 
older man, younger woman, older man with a lot of money gets younger women. Because it's a status thing. Like, you know, it's like having a Ferrari. It's like having a big house. Or if you had a Ferrari, a big house, and a young blonde-haired girl. Or the young hot girl. Whatever it is, it's really some bullshit that they sold us through Hollywood to sell us this lifestyle, you know? And if you ever watch the Hugh Hefner uh, show on Amazon, series on Amazon, he goes in the same thing. He really was just promoting that kind of lifestyle. And then he eventually started living that lifestyle. He became Playboy. And, you know, it is what it is. Um, some guys can do that, some guys don't. But that is not originally what the age gap relationships were really about. So, my next point is intent for legacy. So, this age gap, this age difference is for intent and legacy. So, when you want to have a legacy, you're looking for a woman who's going to make your life easier or a little less cumbersome, right? A little less competitive. So, you find a younger woman that you can build a life with. She's younger. So, when you're older, you don't have to worry about her being in the, in the, in the space where she can't have kids. She's more than willing to listen to you. Your maturity level is above or at least equal to hers, at least equal to hers. And if it's not, you shouldn't do it at all. But your maturity level and where you, and how you're established in your life to be able to facilitate having a woman and a family should be already there. Those things should be in place. So that's the best part about dating someone younger is that you're dating with intent, right? You're dating with a purpose. You're dating for your legacy. You want to build a legacy with someone. And again, half your age plus seven. Half your age plus seven. If you're 40, you want to date someone that's 27. This is not something I'm making up. This is not new. This is something that goes on in a lot of places in the world outside of Westernized nations. Okay? A lot of Latin America, a lot of older men date Younger women, it's not a thing about money. It's a thing about maturity. And it's, it's not a big deal to see an older man with a younger woman. Now, I'm not talking an 80 to a 25-year-old, but it's no thing to see a 60-year-old with a 40-year-old or maybe a 6-year-old with a 30-something-year-old. You know, th it's commonplace for them. So, again, but it's not rich men dealing with younger women. Is establishment maturity wise dealing with a younger woman. Obstacles in dating your own age group. What are the obstacles dating someone your own age? I know a lot of guys here in the and here in America definitely understand this, and probably other uh, Westernized nations um, can can understand this. If you date someone your age and they're going to work and they're driven to be professional, to be a professional and be at the top of their profession, um, you, you're probably dealing with some level of competitiveness in the house. You know, who calls the shots? Does she trust your decision making all the way? Is she trying to top from the bottom what we what we say, which is, yeah, I know that uh, you're the leader, but I'm really making the decisions. Is that happening to you? Have you dealt with that in your relationships? Ladies, have you felt like you didn't trust the guy you were with? Because again, it could be maturity issues, right? It could be he goes out and plays ball with his friends a whole lot. Or he's on the PlayStation at night. All those kind of things <clears throat> for a grown man doesn't really bode well, right? It doesn't really bode well in a way of being able to establish, establish things. And also, I believe that the man in a relationship has to be the teacher. But you got to have things to teach a woman. And because women mature faster, a woman at your age may be, fat, may be higher in maturity than you. But how are you balancing that out? Are you a person that reads? Are you an intellect? If you're not an intellectual man, you probably are having a hard time dealing with a woman your age. Therefore, you have to find a younger woman. Someone who's less mature than you and someone that you can bring up 
But you you yourself have to understand, you have to become a teacher. Men, we had to lead. Leading means not by might, but with your mind. This is crucial. Um, love or practicality. As you mature, as men mature, I think we realize, at least let me speak for myself. Coming through my 20s, I believed in love first. Got married when I was 30. Got to my mid-30s and realized, what does love really have to do with it? And it's not that I didn't love my wife at the time, but I started noticing that if we don't have the practical things in line, then love is something that is not that it doesn't matter, but it doesn't hold much weight. Because love is an emotion that comes and goes, just like happiness and sadness. These things are temporary states. Yes, I still have a level of love for my ex-wife. I 100% do. But, pra but practically, our relationship did not work. Us in a relationship did not work because I am more structured and rigid and she's more flighty all over the place. And so that didn't work. So now in my dating life, since I've been divorced and in my 40s, I'm dating for practicality. Yes, I can find somebody that I love, but I'm looking at what's the goals now? What's the overall goals? And in the relationships, I've always been goal oriented, but now I'm like, what are the goals? What, what are my goals compared to the woman that I'm dating goals? And does she have the stick to to really see these things through? And you can only judge that, in my opinion, by understanding who these people are early on. Now, when I first met my wife, I married her in less than a year, which is what men do when they find love. But where she was coming from, she lived in another country, I met her there, went back and forth, blah, blah, blah. So, it, you know, it was difficult to establish who she was. So I didn't get a chance to live with her. A lot of things was over the phone and at that time over the internet, right, email. So when we lived together, I could see all those things that were great and the things that were, were not so great. Now, as far as her being domesticated and being a caretaker and a nurturer, she had that down packed like none other. But when it came to, to business and really being able to put it in to be focused, like laser focused in on details, it just wasn't her thing. And it's just something that she deals with as she's a person that needs really like Adderall, things of that nature to help her focus her mind. But these are things that you really can't see. And eventually things, as we grew more into our relationship, we grew apart. And we grew apart because our ideas and, and how we were going to get to them were different. Her goals, I started realizing, aren't aren't my goals. My goals are my goals. And it's not that she wasn't willing to follow my lead. She is just a person that's all over the place. She's a woman that needs dopamine to the point of like being able to be in and out of places. She became a flight attendant. So she likes that going in and out of different countries and cities every day. She needs that kind of dopamine. She's not the type of person that can deal with being a wife, being more um, focused and centered in one place, in one city, it becomes a little unnerving for her. She's a person that needs a change of environment frequently. And, and, and there's no love loss there. Like as you get older, you mature, you start to have these conversations about this is who I really am and this is what I, I really want. And so we went our separate ways. We're still really good friends. So, but again, as I've matured and come into my 40s, I realized that I'm not really dating for love. I'm dating for practicality. I'm dating for what, what's, what's practical for my life long run. Who is going to help me cross the finish line at 70 and 80 years old? Someone that I can grow with. We can do things together. Not this power couple shit, but think that <laughs> not this power couple shit that they sell us. But someone that I can live a practical life with and someone who has some stick to it and someone who has some discipline. But those are things that I wasn't looking for in my 20s and 30s. I was looking for love. I was looking for someone to fall in love with. And I did, but I wasn't thinking about the practical side. 
I had the practical side. I came with a direction and she agreed to it. But I never really got to see her behavior on a daily basis to really make a sound judgment if she could really follow through with it. So my point in all this, guys, and let me say this. She was younger than me. She, she was six years younger than me. And so maturity-wise, I was ahead of her. So that was cool. But it comes a time when you have to find people who are going to be on your page who have discipline, in my opinion. Like, you know, I need discipline. I need someone who has stick to itiveness and not all over the place mentally. That's just me. There's a lot of women who are overthinkers and they can overthink a situation. And a lot of times in life, as a man and as the kind of man that I am, the, a Virgo, so for all y'all that like that kind of stuff, right? Astrology. Virgos are very structured people, very intellectual, very structured, and can be very rigid. And so in a relationship, I guess I can be kind of hard to deal with. In some ways, if you're a very flighty, artsy person, um, I guess I'm I'm really tough to deal with. But if you're a disciplined person, it, it works very easy because we see things in the same way as far as what's the goal, how do we accomplish it, and let's go for it. So guys, this is my discussion on age gap. What do you think? Have you seen it play out in your life? Um, has, you know, ladies... Your your experience with men, has it been better with you dating someone your age or has it been better with dating someone um, older than you? And right now, shit, I'm saying that women are dating men younger than them. So what's really good? Like Erica Badu has a 25-year-old, a 26-year-old a boyfriend or something like that. I just, I just saw that. But whatever. And guys, like, what do you think? Have you found dating someone your age challenging? Have you found dating younger women easier or more challenging or do you find dating an older woman better like let me know um you know i'm just bringing you guys things that i know things that i've read things that i've seen but i'm always willing to grow if my and if you can help round any of my square edges please do again you can find me sir i and q on everything facebook instagram uh twitter you can come check our community out, kingspace.net, that's growing, uh, sirinc.com. And I'm also going to start going live in my Facebook group first. And then I'll be going live on my page at least two times a week, more than likely on Mondays and Wednesday evening at 9 o'clock. We'll keep you guys informed. Thank you for watching. Peace.